This is a plain CD scan of a 78 years old male. Just observe this phthisis bulbi calcifications here. Right frontal sinusitis. As we go up, now please these see these hyperdense areas here along the entire surface of the right frontal lobe. This is subrechnoid hemorrhage. Similar hemorrhages in the sylvian fissures. This one here, this one here. So these are the subrechnoid hemorrhages. No, please observe these concavo convex hyperdense lens along the outer surface of right frontal lobe and the outer surfaces of left frontal lobe, temporal lobe, and the parietal lobes. These extend up to the vertex. Now, please observe the difference in the densities of this lien and the subrachnate space here, since there is mild cerebral atrophy as well. Underlying brain parenchyma is compressed, but very obviously you can make out the difference between the densities of these concavo convex lanes and the CSF. So these most probably represent either the chronic subdural hematomas or subdural hygromas. These extend up to the vertex. You can make out this thin line of the arachnoid matter. So these should not be confused with the frontal lobes atrophy. This is the arachnoid mat, this membrane here. Now here you can also make out that it is not the widened subarachnoid space. Blood vessels are not crossing it. This is CSF while these are the either chronic subdural hematomas or the subdural hygromas. See this membrane here.